my name is Sean Spiker I'm with High Tech USA. Today we're going to go over some of the calibrations for the QCOP 450. The first of which is going to be the transmitter calibration and this is to make sure the sticks are going to be accurate. What you do is you'll take the S2 switch you move it to the down position, turn the transmitter on, the green light's going to be flashing, move the sticks to the outer corners, do this a few times. Once you're done, move the S2 switch back up, the green light will come on and then go off and then you're ready to move on. I'm going to demonstrate the compass calibration for the QCOP 450. First of all, make sure the props are not on it yet. You want to keep safety in mind. Also, when you do the compass calibration, you should be in an open area, preferably outdoors, not near any cars, any metal buildings. Make sure your cell phone and your keys are out of your pocket because anything magnetic or ferrous can adversely affect the compass calibration. What you do first, simply turn on the transmitter, make sure the switches are in the up position, turn on the Q-cop, wait till you hear the beep. Once you hear the beep, and there it goes, take the sticks and move them to the upper inside corner of the transmitter. Do that until the green lights begin to flash. Once the green lights have started flashing, in the horizontal position, you'll spin the Q-cop twice, point the nose down, spin it twice again, point the nose sideways, and spin it twice. Once you're done, simply set it back down. The green lights will probably stop flashing at that point, and then you're waiting for them to come back on solid. Now once they come back on solid, it is compass calibrated, if they begin to flash again, simply turn the Q-cop off and start the process over. If you find that your Q-cop does not want to fly straight or just seems unstable, you need to do a gyro calibration. This is very easy to do. With the Q-cop on a flat level surface and your transmitter on, Q-cop on, simply take the sticks, move them to the upper outside corners until the red lights begin to flash. After they begin to flash, simply release the sticks to their neutral position, and you're looking for the red lights to become solid again. Give it a few seconds, and once the red lights have gone back to being solid, you'll need to repeat the compass calibration, and then you're ready to fly. So we're going to go over the accelerometer calibration. This calibration is necessary if you're having trouble getting a successful compass calibration. This is the, one of the tricks to try. With the Q-cop on and the transmitter on and up against a flat wall, you'll take this transmitter and move the sticks to the lower inside corners like this until the lights go out. Once the lights have gone out, simply release the sticks, let the lights come back on. Once they come back on, we'll take the Q-cop, nose up, Flat against the wall, move the stick to the inside corners again until the lights go out. Once they've gone out, release it. You're waiting for the lights to come back on. Rotate it 90 degrees. Repeat the process. Sticks to the inside corners, down corners. Lights gone off. Wait till they come back on. Rotate it 90 degrees. And repeat the process again. Stick to the down inside corners. Lights have gone off. Release. Lights back on. Turn it 90 degrees one more time. Stick to the down inside corners. Lights off. Wait till the lights come back on. Once they've come back on, rotate it on its back. And the last one. Inside corners, down, lights off, wait till the lights come back on. And once they've come back on, this should be successful. You will turn the key cup off, turn everything off. Now, before you go fly, please repeat the compass calibration process, but this time it should be successful. 